Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at 4M Linux, an independent distribution based on the Linux kernel. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description down below. 4M Linux, we're going to go over to their website real quick. Like I stated, it's an independent Linux distribution. And if you scroll down, you open up their page. It's 4MLinux.com. It just states that 4M Linux 37.1 has been released. It was released on September 27th of 2021. You can get details at 4M Linux blog. You can download it from SourceForge.net. And you can visit our forum at LinuxQuestions.org. And that's their website. That's their home. If you go over to About, it'll tell you that 4M is a small, independent, general-purpose Linux distro with a strong focus on the following 4Ms of computing. Maintenance, multimedia, mini-server, and mystery. We're running the latest stable version. And on maintenance, it's set up for system, rescue, live CD, multimedia, full support for a huge number of image, audio, and video formats, Mini server, DNS, FTP, HTTP, MySQL, NFS, proxy, SMTP, SSH, and Telnet. And then mystery, meaning a collection of classic Linux games. Now, if we come up here to help, it just states I've started to write 4M Linux tutorials at 4M Linux blog. You can use the search button to find a phrase that you're interested in. And then you've got 4M Linux help files, help stable, help beta, FAQ stable beta, and license. And new 4M Linux users should start with reading these guides. 4M Linux login, installing 4M Linux, 4M Linux desktop, and 4M Linux server. And then, of course, you can go to download. And it says, to make a donation with PayPal. After the payment, you will be redirected to the download page. Or you can just come down here to the alternate site, which is www.sf.net. And what I will do is I will include that link in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and close their web page. Now, the browser that comes with it is the Pale Moon browser. You've got Pale Moon Home, Pale Moon Add-ons, and the forum, and then announcements. And then you can set up your resources right here, one click away from Wikipedia, World News, and Gadget. Then you can set up your socials real quick here, and then shopping, and then email, media, or travel. Now, you can download a pro version of Pale Moon. It costs $20 a year, but really, right out of the box, Pale Moon gives you everything that you need. So... Let's go ahead and close out of that and go to the desktop. If you download 4M Linux, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, or open it up in GNOME boxes, this is the desktop you're met with. You get one panel at the bottom, and then you've got the dock up here. Okay, It does come with a conky. You can turn that on or off. I just leave it off for right now because I want this nice and clean area here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Home, and that looks like the PC. Yes, it is. It is PC Man FM 1.3.2. This is a real lightweight file manager. It stays out of your way. You're able to do all of your tasks cleanly and expeditiously. You got your usual suspects over here, and then you've got your home folders right here that's got desktop downloads videos. So that's your file manager. Let's close out of that. We will start up top. You've got iDesk on or off. Now, iDesk, you should be able to click it, and all your icons pop up over here, but we're going to double check. And there they are. They just popped up. And then what you can do is just switch it back if you would like. Now, what you will notice, according to the web page, is the window manager here is called Jim's Window Manager, JWM. He's trying to make things really quick, snappy, things like that. Um, let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And let's see if it has HTOP out of the box, HTOP. And it does. At present, I've got two gigabytes issued to this machine. And we're using 195 megs of the two gigabytes at rest. That is impressive. This is extremely lightweight. The CPU is running less than 2%. And you're using less than 200 megabytes of RAM. So if you're looking for a lightweight distribution that uh, you can get a lot of work done in, this is definitely something to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. You've got your text editor, you've got calculator, you've got calendar, you've got the web browser we were just in, then you've got a mail client. Let's click on that. It comes with Silfeed 3.7.0. 
You can set this up and create your mailboxes and link all your accounts right here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Continue without creating. Yes. And we will close out of that. Then you've got an audio player. You've got video player. You've got screen shooter, screen recorder, and webcam. Now, if you come down bottom, you've got one panel. On that panel, you've got date and time. You've got a little system monitor, internet, sound, battery level on your laptop, and then user. And then you've got two different desktops here. And then you can mute. Then you've got USB, and then you've got your desktop. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and open up the 4M Linux main menu. You've got Bash, Internet, you've got NetSurf, you've got another browser, HexChat, SilFeed, Transmission. Com does come with the Tor network, which means you can go online and search anonymously. Send files, Genome, PPP, GWGet, Office, you've got Abbey Word, Numeric, Lays Paint, LeafPad, Beaver, Calculator, for nerds, VIMG, Nano, MC Edit, Huntspell, SC. So you've got a lot of things out of the box right there. Uh, maintenance, data, backup, manual automatic imaging, recovery, wiping, files, PC man we just looked at, CD, DVD, ISO master, partitions, new parted, G parted, multimedia, let's play, celluloid, audacious, let's rip, asunder, make, MKV, Let's mix, Alsa Mixer, Pulse Audio Controls, Image Magic, Devices, and then Mini Servers. You can set up your settings on your Mini Servers, Firewall, FTP, HTTP, Miscellaneous Tools, Links, Graphic User Interface. Boy, there's a lot of tools in here. Mystery, Console. Okay, so these you got games, Pac-Man, Pong, Penguins, Emulators, Fuse, DOSBox, Wine, Java, Extensions. You got Office, you got LibreOffice, GIMP, Inkscape, Vim, and GVim, NetApps, Mozilla. You got Chrome, Vivaldi, Pale Moon, Qubit, Torrent, Dropbox, FileZilla. Now, my question let's see, are these already installed or are these docked in place and you have to install them? This will download and install Chromium. Do you wish to continue? No, I don't. So, those applications are actually docked, and when you click on them, they would actually download them. Then you've got Mozilla. You can get Firefox, SeaMonkey, Thunderbird, Media Apps, SM Tube. You've got VLC, SM Player, Handbrake, Blender. So you've got a big selection of applications here that make your device useful right out of the box. Display, monitor, your regular settings. How about wallpaper? There's wallpapers. Let's check on wallpapers. Okay, so those pop up. I don't know what's going on in the background there with the overlay, but you can go with a solid color. Let's see something here real quick. Let's just exit. Let's pick one. Someone we picked. Let's go down here to turn iDesk back on. Now let's go to wallpapers. Okay, done the same thing. So let's just change to change. What is that? That's pretty awesome looking. Let's go back. Wallpapers. And I think I like the... Uh, Let's just go with something like that. And then, let's see, we were just at settings, desktop, default apps, archiver, browser, editor, locale, development, power off, reboot, lock screen, reload, JWM, Jim's window manager, or exit JWM. It's a very lightweight distribution. It's very snappy. That's 4M Linux. Tell me what you think about it. You going to download it, throw it on a USB, run it in a virtual machine, see if you can give it a little test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You want to follow me on my socials? Maybe buy me a cup of coffee or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are down below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.